And we're back with more Shack News Awards, here to talk about H2O, water, the most important thing on Earth, uh, and in video games sometimes. You know, we've, we've given this award to Sea of Thieves, we've given this award to, I can't remember who else. Uh, there have been, I think it was like an Assassin's Creed game one year, uh, if, I, if I recall correctly, like Odyssey, I think had some really nice water. Uh, I, yeah, remember, in... I remember arguing for Paper Mario last year and it didn't win. No. Well, Half-Life Alex deservedly won. Oh, yeah. that's right. Yeah. The, that bottle, the bottle drink. Right. Yeah, was water dude, being able to like, shake it. Yeah, it yeah. fizzes. And, yeah. yeah, that water was great. Very solid water. In it. Damn good water. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, we're going to we're gonna figure this one out together. Uh, what Does anyone have a nomination for this? Well, it's it didn't. Yeah. The original one didn't win last year because it went up against the Half-Life machine, but uh, Subnautica Below Zero and that water in the in the Arctic North, like that's that's really cool. Like I actually really like the water physics in that game and just the water textures. So. Uh, okay. well, Theory is a is a testament to Nintendo water. Nintendo has always been very good at tropical water, and Bowser's Fury nails it right on the head. Like, there is something so crystal, so buoyant, so perfectly swaying about about Nintendo water. And it's all there in Bowser's Fury. I love the water in that game. Yeah. And it's, I mean, you have that, you have Plessy, right? So you're, you're, you're traversing on water a lot in that game. Mm -hmm. uh, so water is a large element of that game. And, and the way the like, water reacts when like Plessy bounces on it, like from yeah. from a high distance, like it's really good. Mm -hmm. I I agree with both those nominations. Uh, anything else we got here? Um, you know, as much as the gameplay didn't click with me, I really have to give it to Kina Bridge of Spirits for having some gorgeous environments. Unfortunately, there's nothing behind the waterfall. The waterfalls look great, but like traversing through water, um. It looks like very natural, like you see like leaves floating in it, and it's just it reminds me of like going camping or something like that. Uh, I mean, it, I, it is yeah, the game is gorgeous to begin with, uh, but the water really struck me and like stuck with me at the very least, which is rare. Like I'm usually not like looking around and be like, oh man, this is this water is the bomb. So I think it deserves a nomination. I'd like to nominate a game that um, I wasn't sure we would ever talk about this game this year, and maybe it'll sneak in somewhere else. But uh, Far Cry 6 has phenomenal water. Uh, the water physics in Far Cry 6 are amazing, no matter what you're doing with them. Uh, you can actually find videos on YouTube of this if you need to see an example to refresh your your mind or to, to get a first look but just standing on a beach and watching the water roll in or the way that bullet impacts uh kick up water with so much detail like far cry 6 to me has some of the most realistic water and it was visually a great it's a stunning game no matter what um and uh the water was on point i have a a lot of respect for far cry 6's water what do you respect wood no one got that. Okay, I got that. I got that. I'm not talking about best wood. No, I'm, it's a Kirby enthusiasm. So, <laughs> I don't, don't mind I me. Don't. It was from don't a yeah. I, I got it. I got it. It it made a reprise this week in the most recent episode. Uh, yeah. Is there any other nominees, Chris? Do you have one that we may have slept on? Not really. I didn't see much that impressed me this this year. As far it as it was water. a weird year for water, you know. Like usually, there's that like one where I'm like, "This is it. Look at this water, folks." Uh, you know, Sea of Thieves I think was a perfect example of that. Half Life Alex was a good example of that. I think there's this not... category was created to give Sea of Thieves an award. Yeah, because it launched pretty thin, but it had to leave with some award. It had really nice water. It had outstanding water that's possibly still not been. <laughs> Yeah, like you could argue it's still the gold standard for water in a video game. Uh, so, yeah, I don't know. Let's vote, I guess. Uh, unless anyone else has anyone coming from the top rope with another nomination. No. Hey, Chris, we'll start with you. Uh, 
I guess I'll I guess I'll go with Bowser's Fury. Bowser's Fury had some mighty fine water. It played a large role in the game. And obviously water plays a huge role in Subnautica also. Uh Blake, what you got I'm gonna, here? I'm gonna stick with my nomination to Kina. Yeah. Some water you got there. Your waterfalls don't even have anything behind them. <laughs> well, that's no, the things behind them are water. So I no, can't really fault it. Behind for that. the waterfall <laughs> is just rock. Best rock. Yeah. If even I was Best expecting snacks, more even water. Best snacks put a secret behind a waterfall. Come on. But if I was <laughs> expecting to go behind the waterfall and there to be more water, I could give it I could fault it there. But I can't I can't fault the water for being wet and jet that's it. I guess. Bill, you can stick with Far Cry. <laughs> we we voted for Half Life Alex because of the physics, and I think that in that spirit, there's there's no game that got the water physics as good as Far Cry. It is phenomenal. Far Cry Six. But we didn't necessarily give Sea of Thieves the award just on physics. We gave no. it good on no. aesthetic and how involved it was, the bobbing of the the boats and stuff. I think it's for me, it's the most impressive thing done with water each year so that could be visuals one year and it could be physics one year but this year like just yeah the physics in far cry 6 water are phenomenal so okay fair enough uh ozzy what do you got uh, i'm gonna stick with subnautica i'm i'm a sucker for that arctic scenery and just what they do with the with the water in the in the arctic setting is really impressed me mm-hmm I just realized we should have nominated Death Stranding Director's Cut for this. Mm. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, DJ. Bowser's Fury. Yeah. It's got some mighty fine water. <laughs> Nintendo Water is something else. Greg, yeah. what you got here? Uh, you know, like, playing Bowser's Fury on the Switch made me think of Mario Sunshine and how great that water looked and felt. It like, I know great. it was even better than Bowser's Fury, but... Bowser Trees is better water than Sunshine, but I just was like, this is amazing. Yeah, this is something about that water, like TG described it, the buoyancy, the color, everything just looks good. It's just fun. I, I, I enjoy just messing around, like riding riding Plessy around the, the entire level on it. Uh, Donovan, what do you got here? I'll go Bowser's Fury as well. Wow. Danny? You know, I'm going to go with Bill on, on Far Cry 6. I remember actually uh, commenting on the water on the stream because it was that good. So that's my choice. There's some engineer at Ubisoft right now that's just beaming <laughs> watching this video. They're like, they noticed. They noticed my water. <laughs> I spent years on this. I got I two votes. <laughs> uh, yeah. David, what do you, what do you got here? Yeah, I I I feel that that engineers struggle when I think about this category. I have to think, what are the qualifications I look for in best water ah. of a video game? And uh, I mean, it's a slippery category. I'd have to go with uh, <laughs> Bowser's Bums. Fury because Bums. the water in that game didn't piss me off. So yeah, and it looked great, and I loved splashing around with Nessie uh, or Plessy. Plessy. Plus, I'm thinking of Greg's cat, Nessie. Yeah, um, but also Nessie, you know, the Loch Ness Monster. The Loch Ness Monster. Yeah. Um, yeah. Bowser for you. Bowser for you. Somewhere you have a child well, rolling its eyes uh, very hard, did, David. Did Sam have a vote? <laughs> What's Sam's vote? Halo Infinite. <laughs> <laughs> nah, he, he voted see. Bowser's Fury, so. He did? Yeah, it looks like it. Oh, yeah, down down see, here. leave it to right, Sam to break down the the who, where, wet, why, and leave it to how. Sam to oh, scroll David. across the columns and go. All right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay, He's like, well, well, let me like, see what the. Oh yeah, Bowser's Fury. Let's do that. Okay. Just all over the world. Well, Bowser yeah. won an award. How about that? Hey. Despite your best efforts to not honor this game and its greatness. Wow. Bowser Fury. I know. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Uh, I mean, it didn't win another award, but you know, it won this one. So petty. Oh. The Met- the Metroid <laughs> Water was terrible. It wasn't even nominated. No, but the lava yeah. was the good. Metroid Water was more of an annoying. Yeah, lava. Lava. best lava. Better, better lava mechanic in Metroid than yes. 
Yeah, you know? yeah. Bowser's Fury has got some drip, though. We'll give it that. In this we category, and end the puns. We I'm just out here puns, taking right? names, kicking splash. That's all. I'm oh doing. God, stop! <laughs> You're out of okay. order. It's over. You're out of order. And uh, this is uh, the best water of 2021 award here at Shack News is going to Bowser's Fury. Soak it in. Nintendo. Soak it in. Hey Nintendo, how about you take some of that water and you make a wave race with it? What am I gonna do with the award? <sighs> Nothing. I I don't know what I'm gonna do. That's the least of my concerns right now.